What I want to know is like what the people want, what the people has to say. Hi, I'm Zara Larson. Today I'm doing the Wired Auto Complete interview. What Zara Larson? Let's see what people want to know. What Zara Larson vocal range? I don't know if that's a correct sentence. My range, I don't know. <sighs> ah, did you hear that? My voice started doing that. It's like singing two tones at the same time. I find that kind of cool. <sighs> I can't do it on command, but rewind that if you want to see it again. Ah. Not that low, very, very high. Not Ariana Grande high or Mariah Carey high, but pretty high. What is Zara Larson's symphony about? I think songs in general are about whatever you want them to be about. Symphony to me is when you meet someone that just makes you feel so complete. It's not only an instrument, it's like a whole symphony. The song is just so perfectly on key and you love the sound of it and you just want to hear it every day and you want to be a part of their life in their little symphony. Moving on, what songs has Zara Larson written? I started writing a few years ago and the first song that I did was Never Forget You with m &K, and another writer in the room was Astrology. It came out so beautifully. So that's the first song I've written. And then after that, I've been writing a lot. I would say in my catalog, 50% of the songs I write and 50% I take from other writers that are really, really talented. Mostly people that I work a lot with. So they know what I like and what I want to sing about. What is our Larson's zodiac sign? Zo zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Sagittarius. But here is a very controversial thought. I don't believe in it. Sometimes I believe in it. If it's positive, I believe in it. If it's negative, I don't believe in it. Is Zara Larson one of the f I'm the founder of IKEA, I'm the founder of Meatballs. I did indeed put ABBA together. I wish I'm not. I really, really wish I was, but I'm a big fan of Ikea, especially my mom. Sometimes, like when we're bored, me and my mom just go to Ikea. Is Zara Larson related to Henrik Larsen? No, she has a very common last name. It's like Smith, you know. It means the son of Lars, if you couldn't tell. Johansson, very Swedish. Son of Johan, you would say in Swedish. Jackson, son of Jack. Not that Swedish. Is Zara Larsson a soprano? I would say I am, yeah. Is Zara Larsson all the time about a girl? The song all the time? From the breaking of the day to the middle of the night all the time. If you want it to be. Is Zara Larsson on Eurovision? No. Maybe you'll catch me there in 20 years when I am really bored. And uh, I love, love, love to watch it though. I think one of the best movies this year was Will Ferrell's uh, Fire Saga. The bullets I take for that movie, I think it's perfection. <laughs> Honestly, I cried so much. I laughed so much. He really embodied the spirit of Eurovision. I thought it was just incredible. Is Zara Larson on X Factor? No, I'm not, and I have never been. I was on Sweden's Got Talent when I was younger. I was about 10 years old. Is Zara Larson Swedish? Yes. Is Zara Larson related to Brie Larson? You see that? That's one S. So that's a no. Is Zara Larson vegan? I'm not. I think it's incredible if you are. Also because I'm an extremely picky eater. I used to always think that I just had ice cold hands and feet. No, you didn't eat enough. That's why you were cold all the time. And now I'm back, I have my appetite back. I feel more healthy. So maybe now when I have like a good relationship to food, I could try it out. My sister is vegan. So when I'm home and she cooks, I eat vegan. I think. If you have a vegan choice and a non-vegan choice, maybe I'll pick the vegan choice. 
Where is Zara Larson originally from? Sweden, Stockholm, born and bred. Where did Zara Larson go to school? I went to school in Stockholm, just a normal like elementary school. And then when I hit fourth grade, I auditioned for the Royal Swedish Ballet School. And I went there until I was 14. And then I said, I just can't be bothered to dance ballet 40 hours a week when I don't even want to be a dancer. Where does Zara Larsson live now? I feel like I don't live anywhere. I live out of my suitcase. But this year, definitely specifically, I have just been in Stockholm. I think I'm gonna try LA because you just have to try it out, you know? I might go there and I might say, this is not for me. Well, at least I tried it. And I think everybody should try the things they want to do. Where was Zara Larsson born? Stockholm, Sweden. How did Zara Larsson meet her boyfriend? I have a boyfriend and we known each other for years. Just like friends in common. How old is Zara Larsson? I am 22 going on 23. How tall is Zara Larsson? 163 centimeters and five foot four. Does Zara Larson? Does Zara Larson have siblings? I have a beautiful, wonderful little sister. Her name is Hannah, and she's just the most amazing person in the world. She's everything I'm not, and that's only positive things. Does Zara Larson have braces? I used to have braces. I feel like me and braces had a love story that just, we just didn't want it to end. And then it wasn't good enough. Like it just was not good enough. So I had to like, ugh, whatever, no one wants to hear this. Yes, I had braces. <laughs> and then I had Invisalign and now it's like this. Does Zara Larson write her own songs? I do some of them. I wish that I wrote all of the songs. I love to be in the studio. I think it's, amazing but I see myself first as a performer that's where I want to be I write my songs or I sing the songs so I can perform them on stage does Zara Larson have a an American accent well you decide that you decide that I think it's very American I you know once upon a time I could do a British accent and now it's just gone I watched too many American movies. No, what was Sarah Larson's first song? The first song that I ever released is still one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. It was released in Scandinavia and then later on in Europe and it's called Uncover and it's a stunning ballad. I just turned 15 and I really had to fight for that song to come out because nobody else liked that. I think it's honestly my biggest song, at least like in Sweden. Definitely over 10 times platinum. Sometimes artists are like, ooh, oh, that one song, like, oh, I'm ashamed of it. Never. I love that song. It's so beautiful. What is our Larson ruin my life about? It's about when you meet someone that is not really good for you and you're like, I know you're not good for me, but I really like you and I just want to be with you even though you might not be the best option for me. I'd rather be sad with you than happy without you. Weird, right? But if you're in a situation like that, I promise you there is someone out there who will love you and appreciate you. Don't settle for the minimum. Don't let the bar lay on the floor. I like that song because it's very relatable to me. And I think it's relatable for most people. But just know, you deserve better. What is Zara Larson doing now? I'm recording a music video in a few days. So I've been rehearsing for that. And um, I think I'm gonna direct it. I'll just have to speak to the director and telling him I'm gonna be part of this. Cause I have a vision. What movies did Zara Larson play in? No movie yet. Would love to be in one though. There's definitely musicals that I like, but I would want it to be about something completely different, like not about music. I don't want to look pretty in it. I want it to be like grudgy and I want to cry in it and I want raw emotions. And I want it to have a gray, blue, green filter over it. Kind of like if I would play an Ozark, something you wouldn't like expect me to see in and you're like, oh, she can't do that. And then you would see me on screen and you're like, she's great. <laughs> The confidence. What languages does Zara Larson speak? Only two, English and Swedish. They go to Spanish classes in school. Um, no hablo espanol. 
un poquito. I can say, eh, te quiero un helado, por favor, de chocolate y naranja. Sí, señor, por favor. Thank you so much for Googling me and making this great content with me. Maybe you want to know some other things uh, for the next video if I do one. So just Google away, Google hella, and then maybe it will pop up in the search bar and I will answer that for you. Thank you for watching. I had a great time.